Grant Holloway, world record 60 hurdles. You buying? You selling? Selling. Sell, 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 sell. No, 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 no. Sell. No world record. He's saving it. Not yet. There's no need. We'll save it for world at indoors. No, no world record. Sell. I don't think he's capable of, of saving it. I think he's going to get so excited. He's going to get out there. And he's got two rounds. So he's got two chances to do it. Yeah, I think he runs I think he runs 7-3 low. I don't think he's quite there. He's, I don't think he's quite going to do it. But the competition he gets here, Gordon, is going to be pretty similar to the competition he gets at World Indoors. Devin Allen, likely the second best guy in the world. So if he's waiting for more competition when he's going to run 7-2-9, it's, it's not going to come. It's going to be him versus the clock. This is why I think he's not going to run 7-2-9 at USA's. Because he's in a unique situation where this USA championship is an exhibition for him. He probably Correct. because he's young and he likes winning titles, he's probably gonna still try to win the race because he's there. But yeah. at the end of the day, he has a buy to world indoors. Whether he gets first or last, he's going to world indoors. So this is yeah. a a fake qualification round. And I think with that in the back of your head, that just little bit of this is a fake race thought in the back of your head is going to be like, all right, I, I'm just going to run 7-3-7 seven, seven and win. That's why, I, that's why I think because there's that little bit of this isn't that important, it's going to be like take away the ability for him to go all in on the world record. And I think flip side when a global title's on the line at World Indoors, there's none of that, and then he's going to go all in to run another 7.2. I approach it from the other direction. The fact that he doesn't need to be there and he's still going tells me that he's going to take advantage of it, and he could take a big swing at this thing and really go for it, and we could see something special. There's That's that possibility point. as well, too, because why is he there? We all know. Getting people to go U.S. indoors is pretty difficult in the running events. It's not easy. And here's a guy who doesn't need to go in order to run at World Indoors, and he's still showing up. I think he's got this streak going back to 2014, and I think he doesn't look at these races as, oh, this is a, like a throwaway opportunity. I think he loves winning, and he wants to just keep winning. He wants to rack up U.S. titles. He wants to rack up as many gold medals as he can in history. So I think he's going to be sharp for this one. As I mentioned, <clears throat> Allen can give him as good a race as anybody else in the world right now. So there's not going to be a huge difference between this and Serbia at the World Indoor Championships. Now, picking four against the world record, I'll say he comes up just a little bit short just because that's a very high bar to meet. But I do think, I do think we're going to see maybe the second best time of him in history. Maybe we see a 731. Maybe he matches his seven. Uh, 32 that he ran in, in Leven. But you're not going to be shocked if we see the first heat and Holloway cruises and runs 735. And then you're going to go, oh, okay, here it comes. <laughs> like he eased up the last stride and he ran 735. Like something big is on the, on the horizon in the final. Here's my question for you. <laughs> he is currently lifetime. Is he lifetime undefeated at the 60?